Let's try to look at density. So we define density. Actually, density is defined as is defined as a uh, mass per unit volume. Mass per unit volume. Density is defined as the mass per unit volume. Now, per in mathematics means actually a uh, division. So that means we can express the density of a substance mathematically as density is equals to mass per means division per unit what? Volume. So divide by volume. Mass per unit volume. Now remember the SI unit for mass is actually the kilogram. The, the SI unit for volume is cubic meter. So that tells us that the SI unit, SI unit for density, density will be kilogram per cubic meter kilogram kilogram per cubic cubic meter kilogram per cubic meter which can be abbreviated as either kilogram per cubic meter or it can also be written as kilogram uh, per cubic meter so you can also represent per with a negative uh, you will understand this better when you learn about the indices when you learn about the indices now density is actually measured directly by use of uh, an instrument called uh, a density bottle a density uh, bottle this is the instrument that we use to measure density of a substance directly now we can look at a few examples involving how to calculate the density of a substance so example one here we have a block of glass of mass so mass of the block mass of the block we are given as uh, 187.5 grams is 5 centimeters long 2 centimeters thick and 7.5 centimeters high so this can help us to find the uh, volume so volume of the <coughs> block will be equal to length times width times height which is equals to our length is a uh, 5 centimeter our width is a uh, 2 centimeter and our height is 7.5 centimeters so i can use a calculator to actually calculate the value of the volume so it is 5 times 2 times 7.5 so that comes to 75 so here i'm getting a 75 so centimeter times centimeter times centimeter we, we get a cubic centimeter remember to calculate the density we need the mass and the volume we are already given the the mass we have also calculated the volume so we are saying that density of, a, of the block will be equal to mass of the block over volume of the block, the volume of the block, which is equals to mass of the block is 187.5 grams over volume of the block is uh, 75 cubic centimeters. So I can use a calculator to find uh, the density of the block. So density of the block will be actually uh 187.5 divided by 75 so this one comes to 2.5 2.5 uh, uh, so it is grams per cubic centimeter grams per cubic centimeter but the question wants us to calculate the density of the glass block in kilogram per cubic meter so remember that actually uh one gram per cubic centimeter is equals to uh, a thousand kilogram per cubic meter this is a unit that students should also take note of do not confuse with a, a thousand uh, uh, grams is equals to one kilogram for density we will use this conversion one gram per cubic centimeter is equal to a thousand kilogram per cubic meter so what about 2.5 grams per cubic centimeters so this will be divided by one gram per cubic centimeter times a thousand kilogram per cubic meter so this will be equal to kilogram per cubic meter. Uh, gram per cubic meter will cancel off. So we remain with a one zero. <coughs> we'll remove move the decimal so that we have 25 uh, zero zero kilogram per cubic meter. So that is how to solve such. We also have example two here, which reads the density of concentrated sulfuric acid is this. So in this case, we are given the density as 1.8 uh, grams per cubic centimeter. Uh, we can also write that one uh, this way. <coughs> Calculate the volume 
calculate the volume of 3.1 so this is mass because it is in kilogram so mass is 3.1 kilogram so they want us to find the volume so remember density is equals to mass over volume so if you want volume we can make it the subject of the formula times volume times volume so that this one cancels then uh, volume times density is equals to mass so i divide by density divide by density so that volume is equals to uh, mass over density volume is equals to mass over density so this will be equal to the volume we are given as uh, uh, so the mass we are given the mass is 3.1 kg then density is 1.8 kg but the, this one is in kilogram this one is in gram per cubic centimeter so it means we actually convert this one into kilogram per uh, cubic meter for the units to rhyme or alternatively we can convert this one into gram so for my case let me convert the 3.1 kilogram into grams so actually the mass is a uh, uh, 3.1 kilogram so remember a thousand grams is equals to one kilogram so it means 3.1 kilogram will actually be divided by one kilogram times uh, a thousand grams so kilogram and kilogram cancel so we remain with the one zero cancel so we'll have 3100 grams so that from here we can find the volume as mass over mass over density uh, which is equals to our mass is 3100 grams our density is uh, 1.8 grams per cubic centimeter so that will be equal to if i use my calculator i have 3100 divided by 1.8 so actually this comes to around uh, i can uh, do it that way 1722 2 over 9 so the units that are actually remaining here will be the cubic meter how because here we are dividing grams uh, we are dividing grams divided by grams per cubic centimeter remember per means division so if this one is the same as uh, gram times when you divide you multiply by the reciprocal cubic centimeter divided by gram so that grams and grams cancel so that we remain with the units as uh, centimeter uh, cubic now we can also look at our last example here which reads that the mass of a density bottle is 20 grams so mass of the density bottle uh, density bottle is given as uh, 20 grams when empty so mass of empty 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 uh, density bottle and 45 grams when filled with water so this is mass of the uh, empty bottle actually the bottle but filled with water plus water its mass is 45 grams then when filled with mercury so mass of the bottle plus mercury when filled with mercury uh, will be equal to 360 grams so you are required to calculate the density of mercury given that the density of water is this so remember sometimes you, you may not be given the density of water so if you are not given the density of water you assume it is one gram per cubic centimeter because that is the value of density of uh, fresh water so we can start by first of all if they want density of mercury remember density of mercury uh, will be equal to the mass of mercury over volume of mercury volume of mercury so that means we need to calculate the mass of mercury and the volume of mercury but we cannot get the volume of mercury without finding the volume of water so we can start by finding the uh, the volume of water so remember volume of water will be equal to volume is equals to uh, if density yeah if density is equals to mass over volume then that means volume will be equal to uh, mass over density so this is a uh, mass of water actually over density of water so when the bottle is filled with uh, uh, when it is empty it is 20 grams when it is uh, filled with uh, water it is 45 grams so that means the volume of water will be equal to mass of water will be equal to mass of the bottle when it is uh, filled with water minus mass of the empty bottle then divided by divided by the 
density of water. So that will be equal to mass of the bottle when filled with water. It is actually 45 grams minus mass of the empty bottle is 20 grams divided by density of water. Remember we are given as 1 gram per cubic centimeter. So this actually comes to uh, 45 minus 20. I think we get uh, 25. Yes. So we get 25 grams divided by 1 gram per cubic centimeter. So this will come to 25 cubic uh, centimeter. But remember, since the water was filled, uh, they are saying that the mass of empty bottle is 20 when filled with uh, water. Since water and mercury were filled in the same same bottle, it means they occupied the same space. And remember the amount of space occupied by a body is what we are referring to as the volume. So that means that volume of water will be equal to the volume of mercury because they were filled in the same same empty dense bottle so they filled the same space which is equals to actually 25 uh, cubic centimeter so remember our we are calculating the uh, our main aim is to find the uh, density of mercury so we have the volume of mercury now we need the mass of mercury so mass of mercury mass of mercury will be equal to mass of the empty bottle uh, filled with mercury mercury uh, minus the mass of empty density bottle which is equals to when filled with mercury it was actually 360 grams when it was empty it was 20 grams so that comes to uh, 360 minus 20 so you actually get 340 grams so that the density of mercury the density of mercury will be equal to uh, mass of mercury. Mass of mercury is 340 grams divided by volume of mercury. Uh, volume of mercury is equal to volume of water, which is equal to 25 cubic centimeter. So that gives us uh, 340 divided by 25. We actually get 13.6 uh, uh, grams per cubic centimeter. Grams per cubic centimeter. It can also be written as 13.6 grams uh, per cubic centimeter. Remember, you can also be asked to express this one in kilogram per cubic meter. So in that case, you just use the conversion that a thousand uh, grams per cubic centimeter is equal to one kilogram per cubic meter. So having solved this, we also have an exam, uh, an exercise here, which I want the students to try at their own free time. So it reads, the mass of an empty density bottle is 20 grams, full stop. Its mass when filled with water is 40 grams and 50 grams when filled with liquid X. Calculate the density of liquid X if the density of water is 1000 kilogram per cubic meter, full stop. Express your answer in kilogram per cubic meter. So the answer here I've calculated and found that the answer is 1500 kilogram per cubic meter. 